Dear student, in our last class, we learned the definition for electric current and uh, drift velocity. Depending on definition of electric current and drift velocity, we got the relationship between electric current and drift velocity. Today, in uh, chapter 3 called electric current topic or current electricity topic, we are going to learn two important things. One is mobility and another one is current density. First, we learn what is the meaning of mobility of an electron. Dear student, the mobility is a physical quantity is a very much important in case of nuclear physics also or to study the electric current also mobility of an electron is very much important uh, concept and first we learn the definition of mobility of an electron the mobility of free electron is the drift velocity acquired per unit electric field applied. Dear student, in a last class, we learn the definition of drift velocity. Drift velocity is nothing but average velocity of an electron with which electrons get drifted under the influence of electric field. If we consider any one conductor, all the electrons are moving randomly because outermost orbit electron in an atom are loosely bound to the nucleus and they free to move and they collide with the ion automatically there is no transfer of charge from one end to another end in case of conductor so there is no electric current to get the electric current you have to connect the battery across that when you're going to connect the battery across the conductor by applying a suitable potential across the conductor electric field is generated due to that electric field each and every free electron or valence electron present in a conductor experience an electric force or coulomb's force that is acting opposite to the direction of electric field because electrons are negatively charged and due to that uh, electric force acting opposite to the electric field electrons are get drifted from one end to another end automatically there will be a net transfer of charge it takes place from one end to another end it provide the electric current that we learn and depending on that we got the definition of a drift velocity also in a today's part we're going to discuss mobility of electron the mobility of free electron is the drift velocity acquired per unit electric field applied keep this point in your mind is one of the important definition for exam usually they're going to ask this question for exam for one or two marks the mobility of free electrons is the drift velocity acquired per unit electric field applied the mobility of free electron denoted by letter mu mu is the representation of mobility of electron equal to drift velocity per unit electric field applied that i already said the definition mathematically we can write mobility of an electron mu is equal to vd that is nothing but drift velocity divided by e where e is called electric field it is a one of the important formula for mobility of an electron next important thing if we know the equation that is nothing but electric current is equal to n into a into vd into e in a last video we learn the relationship between electric current and drift velocity if there is a drift velocity then only we can think about electric current that we already learned in last video and we know that i is equal to n into a into vd into e Therefore, drift velocity Vd becomes, we got the formula I is equal to N into A into Vd into E, Vd becomes I divided by N into A into E, just rearranging the formula for electric current. In place of drift velocity, you have to substitute this formula, mobility is equal to I divided by N A E into E, where mu is the electron mobility, Vd is the drift velocity. E is the electric field. E is a charge of electron. A is the area of cross section of a conductor. Unit for electron mobility or mobility of an electron is meter square, volt power minus 1, second power minus 1. Or dear student, it is one of the important question for exam. They usually they're going to ask what is the unit used to measure mobility of an electron. They ask this question already in annual exam. Meter square per volt second is the unit for mobility of an electron. Next important term in case of electric current is called current density. Current density denoted by letter small letter j current density denoted by using small letter j 
current density is the ratio between electric current and area of cross section of conductor keep this point in your mind current density is the ratio between electric current and area of cross section of the conductor that we call it as current density that we denote it as j is equal to i divided by a where i is the electric current a is the area of cross section but we already learn we know that i is equal to n into a into vd into e that i said relationship between electric current and drift velocity therefore we can rearrange the equation for current density as j is equal to n a vd into e divided by a by substituting the value for i we know the formula for i is n a into v into v, v d into e and substituting that formula we got j is equal to n a v d into e divided by a where a and a gets cancelled we got the formula for current density as j is equal to n into v d into e is a formula for current density it also clearly indicates that current density is directly proportional to drift velocity if more drift velocity automatically electric current is more if more electric current in a given area automatically current density is also more where n is the number of free electrons in the conductor vd is the drift velocity of an electron e is the charge of an electron next we discuss the relationship between current density and electric field dear student is one of the important question for exam they going to ask this question mainly for three marks or five marks relationship between current density it is nothing but j electric field it is nothing but e consider a section of a conductor of length l uniform area of cross section of a conductor is a by connecting the battery potential v between ends of a conductor just see this diagram we consider conductor of length l area of cross section is a and across this ends of a conductor we connected battery of potential is v the electric field e is generated dear student when you want to connect the battery across the uh, conductor ends of a conductor the conductor electric field is generated due to that electric field you learn each and every electron present in a conductor experience a coulomb's force or electric force three electrons drifted through the length l in a time t with a drift velocity vd opposite to the electric field that i already said in a previous video when you want to connect a battery across the ends of a conductor electrons or free electron present in a conductor experience electric field due to that electric field each and every electron experience electric force all the electron get drifted with the help of coulomb's force or electric force from one end of the conductor to another end of the conductor due to electric field force experienced by an electron is f is equal to e into e that i already told in last video electric field is nothing but electrostatic force per unit positive charge here charge is e it is a charge of an electron therefore force experienced by each and every electron in a conductor with the help of electric field f is equal to e into e where f is equal to ma in general we can call force is equal to product of mass and acceleration abo equation becomes m into a is equal to e into e m into a is equal to e into e next step where a is equal to drift velocity divided by time but in this system we call that time is relaxation time in acceleration is the thing but velocity divided by time velocity of an electron is called a drift velocity from one end of the conductor to another end of conductor with the help of electric field that's why in place of acceleration you have to take drift velocity divided by time the time is called relaxation time tau is the relaxation time of an electron it is the average time interval between two successive collision keep this point in your 
your mind this definition is very much important for exam tau is the relaxation time of an electron it is the average time interval between two successive collision it is the average time interval between two successive collision by substituting that we get m into vd divided by tau is equal to e into e by rearranging that we got the formula for drift velocity as e into e divided by m into tau when you want to see this equation keep that point clearly in your mind drift velocity is directly proportional to electric field as electric field increases automatically most of the electron get drifted with a particular average velocity under the influence of electric field automatically drift velocity goes on increases as the drift velocity goes on increases electric current also goes on increases now this is the formula by connecting relationship between drift velocity and electric field dear student it is also one of the important derivation it is also one of the important formula connecting the relationship between drift velocity and electric field we know that current density j is equal to n into vd into e that we already learn dear student current density is nothing but current divided by area current is nothing but n into a into vd into e divided by area is a where a and a gets cancelled we got a current density is equal to n vd into e and by using thus substituting the expression vd is equal to e e divided by m into tau this formula we already got we get by substituting in a current density in place of vd substitute that formula we get current density is equal to n into e as it is in place of vd you have to take e into e divided by m into tau it is already there in a board on simplification we got current density is equal to n into e into e becomes e square divided by m into tau into e it is a formula for current density you got that we can take it like current density is equal to sigma into e keep this point in your mind current density is equal to sigma into e when you're going to compare these two equation here e is common automatically we got sigma is equal to n e square divided by m into tau here we got relationship between current density and electric field is one of the important question for exam usually they're going to ask relationship between current density with electric field for exam mainly for five marks and again when you're going to compare these two equation is also one of the important question for exam mainly for five marks we got uh, sigma is equal to n e square divided by m into tau where sigma is called conductivity conductivity is nothing but is one of the property of a conductor it allow the flow of charge it allow the flow of charge to move from one end to another end that we call it as conductivity automatically any conductor got more conductivity that conductor is having maximum property of conduction of electron from one end to another end we call it as good conductor or metals here we got the two important thing one is relationship between current density and electric field and the one is expression for conductivity n e square divided by m into tau keep one point clear in your mind conductivity is mainly depending on a relaxation time if the relaxation time is more relaxation time is more conductivity is more if relaxation time is less conductivity is also less it is a relation between conductivity and relaxation time remaining thing we'll discuss in a next video thank you